<clears throat> Bubble charts are an interesting way to visualize data. Um, they can be a little bit tricky. They're a nice extension because in our traditional uh, scatter charts uh, and similar tools, they are limited to only displaying two variables, the x and the y variable. With the bubble charts, it's added on that third variable or a z variable. It allows us to chart three things at the same time. We've, we'll have our traditional x and y axis, but then the z or the third variable will be represented by uh, the size of the dot. So uh, if you've seen them before, um, that's great and otherwise you know we'll build one here and you can see what it looks like they're built a little bit differently so uh, for this I just created a simple table with some information three data elements for each of my stocks GE, Walmart, Apple and Target I gathered the price information the price earnings ratio as well as the market cap for each of them and so I'm just gonna pop through and create the bubble chart now in normal charting we usually include the titles it's easier in bubble charts if you don't and I'll show you how we can kind of work in our way in from the back side so uh, we'll go to insert after selecting the data I'm gonna go over to insert over here in charts it's actually a type of XY so I'm gonna go to all charts uh, XY scatter and then bubble charts are over here. There's a, a traditional two dimension and then the three dimension. The bubbles just look a little fancier. I'll just do the standard version for our situation here. And just choose OK. Now it did take my three data elements and put them in here. Um, but it didn't, of course, give me my chart title. So I need to put that in. And I'm just going to call it stock comparisons for now. Um, it doesn't include my X and Y uh, axis, So I'll include those. Uh, axis title. There we go. Now uh, with this I'm going to have to look back at my data to determine which element got put on which axis. and in this case uh, 0 through 35 so we must be looking at the price earnings ratio so I'm just going to put PE ratio there. Um, along the bottom axis, I can see it's going 0 to 180 so uh, that must be my, hmm, what would that be? Uh, looks like the top one's 147. There we go. That's my price. I'm just going to call it stock price. There we go. Now, getting the uh, data labels to show up with the titles gets a little trickier. Uh, I'm going to choose the plus sign. So I selected my data elements, chose the plus sign. I'm going to turn the data labels on first. Now it's going to default into showing just the price earnings ratio. But I'm going to go over here to more options. And what I want to do is actually choose values from cells. And when I do that, it asks me where I want to get the values. That's where I put my titles in. I'll just choose OK. And then I'm going to turn off the default one. And I'm going to tell it to go to the right. So now I've got my data elements in there. Um, it's a little different method, but um, it tells a different story. I also, in my case, I'd like to add another little... Uh, insert here. I'm going to put a little text box down in here, shapes, uh, text box, and I'm going to put uh, a little something to explain what the uh, size is, um, size of the elements uh, indicates uh, market cap or something like that. So then a person looking at the chart would know that the X and the Y and the uh, what the size of the element is for. <clears throat> 